Hi friends, welcome to Anshu's library. Today I am going to discuss about biodiversity. First of all, what is meant by biodiversity? Before going to that, the term biodiversity was coined by Walter G. Rosen in the year 1986. First time biodiversity and a term ni coined by Walter G. Rosen and in the year 1986. For what is meant by biodiversity? Biodiversity and Jeeva Vaividya and Tamano. Bio means life. We know that. Diversity means variety. We know that there are different type of plant species. There are different type of animal species. Each and every species having some variability. So the study of that variety and variability within the species, within the plant species and within the animal species is nothing but biodiversity. Dhanne manam jiva vividya mantamu. So, adhe ikka definition undhandi biological diversity anna, biodiversity anna manam okate antamu. So, ikkade en chepthu nao represents the sum total of life forms such as unicellular organisms, protozoa, bacteria, multicellular organisms we know that multicellular organisms such as plants fishes mammals they are all having some variability in their they, they show variation in their genetical level species level and ecosystem level so first of all i am going to discuss about types of biodiversity how many types of biodiversity there are three types of biodiversity genetic diversity species diversity ecosystem diversity first of all what is meant by genetic diversity genetic diversity means we know that genes are the basic units genes are the hereditary units and these genes are transmitted from one generation to other generation and it means grandfather ninchi father ki father ninchi son and daughter so idi human lo aithe ganaki ila jarugutundi in the same manner plants lo kaani animals lo kaani same manner lo genetical diversity anedi exhibit avuta untadi because the genes are transmitted from one generation to other generation so that is called as genetic variability mana oka best example tho explain cheskundam for example rice varieties teeskundam manaki number of rice varieties ane unnai these are all belongs to one species that is Oriza sativa but they differ in their color their shape their uh, sizes their aroma and nutrient content why why they show different uh, uh, colors uh, different sizes uh, uh, this is called as genetical diversity in the country market Main ga genes are every okay generation in chinko generation ki transformation jargatam valla okay variability an edi exhibit out on the but all these are belongs to one species that is Oriza sativa but anni goda okay la ledu best example man kikada these are different type of rice grains arborea conchon chodani flaked on my rice an edi Alagi uh, black rice, red rice, red rice and a kuga asam lo grown out and uh, iron content and a chala enriched count on the nutrient variation and a dundi manakunde rice to compare just kunte red rice like kuga nutrient content and a the kuga on the alagi short grain rice, long grain rice, basmati rice and to so these are all belongs to one species that is Oriza sativa but they show genetical variability so this is the genetic diversity of rice and uh, the next one is species diversity what is meant by species diversity this is the variability found within the population of a species or between different species of a community it means for example the best example plant community plant there are different type of plants there are different type of trees all are belongs to one community that is plant community but konni chetlani mano konni chetlaki flowers ane vastunayi konni chetlaki fruits ane vastunayi konni flower bearing plants antnam konni nemo fruit bearing trees antnam but these are all belongs to one community but they show variability within the species within the 
species so that is called as species diversity so best example just look at this picture so these are different type of plants all are belongs to plant community but okka dani mana mango tree antnam okka dani people tree ravi chettu antnam okka dani neem tree vepa chettu antnam all are belongs to one community but they show variability within the species or different species in the community so this is called as species diversity and uh, in the same manner just say, just look at this uh, animal diversity so these are all belongs to animal community but konni terrestrial animals unnai animal aquatic animals unnai all these are belongs to animal community but konni ni terrestrial species antna konni ni aquatic species antna so this is the species diversity and finally the last type of diversity is ecosystem diversity so what is meant by ecosystem diversity this is the diversity of ecological complexity showing variation in ecological niches tropical structure food webs nutrient cycling etc so ikkade em avutundante manaki oka best example tho mana explain cheskunte ee concept anedi chaala easy ga artham avutundi we may consider diversity in forest ecosystem we know that there are different type of forest regions మన ఇండియాలో ఎక్కువగా ట్రాపికల్ రెయిన్ ఫారెస్ట్ ఉంటాయి అలాగే ట్రాపికల్ డెసిడియస్ ఫారెస్ట్ అనేవి ఎక్కువగా ఉంటాయి అదే ఆఫ్రికన్ రీజియన్స్కి వెళ్తే టెంపరేట్ డెసిడియస్ అండ్ స్క్రబ్ ఫారెస్ట్ అనేవి అంటే చిన్న చిన్న బుషెస్ అనేవి ఎక్కువగా ఉండే ఫారెస్ట్ రీజియన్స్ అనేవి ఎక్కువగా ఉంటాయి సో వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ త్రూఅవుట్ ద వరల్డ్ ఎక్కడైనా ఫారెస్ట్ ఎకోసిస్టమ్ అంటే ద డామినేటింగ్ స్పీసీస్ ఆర్ ట్రీస్ ద డామినేటింగ్ స్పీసీస్ ఆర్ ట్రీస్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ just look at this picture tropical rain forest ikkada manaki eppudu kuda greenery anedi untundi eppudu kuda manaki ila evergreen ga big trees tho green ga untundi tropical rain forest ikkada temperature anedi ekku ga untundi rain falls anevi ekku ga unte moisture anedi ekku ga untundi and coming to the next one is temperate deciduous forest ikkada ekku ga temperature anedi ekku ga untundi రెయిన్ ఫాల్స్ అనేవి ఓన్లీ సీజనల్గా మాత్రమే పడతాయి అండ్ ఇంకోటి ఇక్కడ ఎప్పుడు కూడా సమ్మర్లో ఈ చెట్ల ఆకులు అనేవి రాలిపోతూ ఉంటాయి సో డెసిడియస్ అంటేనే ఆ కండిషన్ అండి స్పెల్లింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఫెల్ డౌన్ ఆఫ్ లీవ్స్ అంటాము సో వాట్ ఎవర్ టెంపరేట్ డెసిడియస్ ఫారెస్ట్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు ఫారెస్ట్ ఎకోసిస్టమ్ ద డామినేటింగ్ స్పీసీస్ ఆర్ ట్రీస్ బట్ వీ కెనాట్ గ్రో దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ట్రీస్ దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ట్రీస్ in temperate deciduous forest and vice versa the deciduous trees we cannot grown in tropical rain forest why why because the temperature is vary the climatic conditions are vary and at the same time uh, the nutrient cycling is vary from one ecosystem vary from one region to another region the topography is vary from one region to another region so that's why these two are belongs to forest ecosystem the dominating species are trees but we cannot grow the tropical trees or in temperate deciduous forest and vice versa so this is called as ecosystem diversity it means within the ecosystem there should be some variation because of moisture because of temperature because of altitude so these are all the parameters uh, which show some variation within the ecosystem so this is the types of this is about types of diversity i hope you understand this class thank you meeku video nachinatlaite like cheyandi and share cheyandi